what is good foundation nation today we're at timbrook park doing a little blind used disc bag draft let's do it all right we are here at the used section of the retail store we have quite a bit to choose from today um unfortunately we're gonna be doing it blind fortunate for you probably because it's gonna be entertaining we're playing timbrook park so you keep that in mind looking for mostly short range discs probably. The way it's gonna work is we have 30 seconds to pick exactly five discs. You have to have five, you get 30 seconds to pick all of them. You cannot look, you can feel, and you have to throw each disc at least once off the tee. So if you pick up a dud, it could make you pay out there. I was getting my blindfold ready. That's a very good technique. Okay, you can go first while I do the same thing. <laughs> ready, set, go. Okay, I like that. Give me like a 10 second, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll give you a 10 second. That's a rock. Ain't a putter, ain't a putter, really bad. This looks like I'm playing this footage sped up. That's good, that's a putter. He's screwing it out. 10 seconds left. I'm not really too worried about the rest. You're gonna throw it. Let's go there. Oh, I'll grab that. <laughs> What'd you end up with? Battleship. Sick. Never that was good. It. Casey Rock. I knew that as soon as I felt it. AVR. Proud of that. <laughs> Strike. Strike. That's okay. And, and uh, that's an EMAC, EMAC Truth. Truth. <laughs> I, that's a great lineup. A lot of mids. I, I'm happy with yeah, that. Well, it's okay. Tenbrook. You don't have anything as super going. stable. I don't know how stable the battleship is. Yeah. Um, and the strike will be fine. The rock will be stable enough. I don't know what uh, felt it's stable. Mid, and it's got a nice little chunk yeah, out of it. Yeah, it's got an absolute nick taken out of it. This will be fine. Three, two, one, go. This is really scary, actually. I just feel great. I feel like a driver. I can't find any putters. Okay, there's a putter. <laughs> Got a driver to putter. This feels kind of, that's a mid. I like that better, actually. That feels like 10. Good. Let's go there. Five, oh, four, three, Two. Yeah. I just went for slow feeling stuff. That was way harder than I thought. I got in there and I was lost. I literally started feeling through and I was like, I'm about to be the idiot that doesn't pick up any discs. <laughs> Mako 3 XT. That'll Ooh, be something. That would be flippy. Pretty flippy. Um, a really beat in judge. That's fine. It looks like it was caught on fire. Yeah, it, it feels fine. I'm, I mean, I'm going to putt with it, but I would love to know what happened to it. <laughs> I think uh, it was in a forest fire. A getaway. This will be like kind of stable. That That's fine. And then this is a rock. Yeah, yeah. this is a rock. So that'll be good. And a P2. Oh, that's that's not bad at all. It's gonna be a look. I once again, neither of us really got the overstable approach to this that we probably were seeking. I as every mid I felt I grabbed. Oh, that's all. I, I cared literally, about. My, the, what my strategy changed to 20 seconds in was if it feels thicker than you know, a driver, it turns grab out it. a lot so of people drivers. turn in drivers. You look through this use. This whole bench driver. Well, this is many, driver out. Many, all right. So as you just saw, here got my 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 bag. Here got, got his bag. Each of these off the tee once. With yes. the rule, I do believe. I think I'm gonna just go with the strike now, just get it out of the way. Ooh, Good call. I feel like I can just hide or flip it into the hillside here. Not a momentum guy. Huh? Um, I drafted first, so Trevor can throw first. I'm gonna go with the rock first because I am a momentum guy. I need to get going. This rock is like darn near new, so I think it should fly straight. Oh, it's stable. Okay. All right. That'll do it. I feel like if I just rip this low. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Out. If you hit the hillside, it's not gonna. Ripped it low. Worked out. A little pump jut. Take a three. Good old fashioned classic AVR. Oh. Ooh. I'm gonna go with the P2 because kind of close That's to it. what I normally putt with, although I'm not good at that. Good putt, Trev. Goated birdie. Hole number two, sorry. Downhill forehand. I think it's time for me to use the getaway. I actually like throwing a driver Ooh. on the sole sometimes. You don't have to try as hard. No way you're going to get away with that. <laughs> Ooh, I bet I will. Just got to carry the water. A lot of water today. Surrounded by water OB. Who's going to carry the water? Get it like the guy? <laughs> Doggins, baby. Oh, it's flipping. It's starting to glide. I let it glide. It's very flippy. <laughs> it's going to be very far. I thought it was going to fly stable on Heiser. You know my little EMAC truth on forehand here. This guy's in the lake. Oh, sick. Join He's going to join you. Literally. <laughs> Somebody closer. That's him. Yes. Yes. You should just stick to yes and no on this channel. Okay. Go ahead, Hunter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Which one of us is going to hit the gap today? Whole three. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mako 3 XT. I call that the Grand Canyon. Canyon. You know what XT stands for, right? Extra tough. I thought it stood for Xterra. <laughs> Xterra. Wow, Trevor. Wow, Trevor, it. really. Oh! oh. <laughs> Wow! Like a 50 footer. Ground night. Thanks. Oh my pathfinder <laughs> here. Let's see if we can find the path. Hope it's not. a battleship. Oh wait, oh, is there a path pathfinder mold? Feels like it. Yeah. No, oh, good point. I hope it's not made in 2006, or the coolant's gonna leak into the transmission. <laughs> wait, is that new? And it's normal on 2006 pathfinders. You have to replace the transmissions. <laughs> yeah, Connor knows his path. Dude, hunt. Say it ain't so. I will Ooh. not go. Turn the lights off. Well, carry me home. <laughs> Heads up. Oh! oh. <laughs> I just said that for no reason and almost got hit! <laughs> it's an inspiring hole of We're playing guard. shuffleboard up here, man! <laughs> oh, what? Not too great! <laughs> oh, party ain't over till, till the big trap sings. Come on! Alright. At least someone still knows how to play the frisbee golf game. Yeah. Extra, extra! I'm gonna go with the judge here. This is a special blend called a house fire blend. Uh, it's called Can't fart fire. juice. Fart Ew. juice? <laughs> Poop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it didn't flip. Didn't flip up. Didn't, probably didn't throw it with enough revolutions per minute. Look out, Hunt. Hunter, oh, I didn't flip Hunter. Oh, now I don't hit trees. Dang, we needed that one from last hole hunt. Dude, Way to take it back. You're just pranking the whole time. My putt is like all time broken right now, too. Says who, Trev? Never mind. I was just kidding. It was a prank. You're hustling, too. Mmm. Go ahead and have the tea. It nice. Is 229 foot par three. Go on my strike again. I go a little hyzer flip forehand here. Dude, he went back Touchy. to strike double dipping. Dang, dude. Good thing he's goat hunting. Oh, Dude, are you kidding? Oh, Ooh. up there, late tree. I think I'm gonna try the same thing. Is that a terrible? Yeah. That's a terrible idea. I'm gonna no. throw. I'm gonna throw my normal line, but just try no. and throw it flatter. Oh, I'm actually good. Never mind. Pretty good Ace. shot. Oh, a pole hitter. Dude, I thought I aced it. Me In fact, I hit the pole. <laughs> oh snap, he's a gold digger. <laughs> he's a pole digger. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ah! Nice try, hon. AVRs just don't have much glide. Yep, that's what they say about that. <laughs> six, tunnel shot, XT, oh, Mako no. 3. Kind of in love with this disc. I kind of like this disc for this shot right now, Trev. Well, after the earlier Heiser flip, I'm having to agree with you. Ace. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, the third oh, okay. kick. That's fine. Third the hill. All right, rock time. Rock. That was just what happens when the old Trev dog, when you try to teach him a new trick. Ooh, throwing a Barack three. <laughs> Come on, one side, big hunt, one time. That thing is beat. Oh, oh. it's the worst. You're getting some awful, like, reactions. Hey, to man, some days the course loves you, some days it hates you, man. Nature that's, hates that's you. Pretty. Wow. Yeah. A lot of pole there. Yeah. Heck, dude. How much more would you have gotten done today if you had a good night's sleep last night? I know when I don't get great sleep, I lack all productivity the next day. It completely washes me out. I get nothing done. I have no energy. Sleep is super important in my routine. Sometimes I don't get the greatest sleep, so I need a little assist. Well, today I'm gonna tell you about my secret weapon, Beam. This stuff right here is brilliant. What Beam is, is a nighttime hot chocolate. I know what you're thinking, that sounds incredible. Well, it is. But this isn't just any old hot chocolate. This is specially formulated to help you get a better night's sleep. They have a number of varieties and different flavors to fit your lifestyle. The one I've been having here is this delicious cinnamon cocoa flavor that helps me fall asleep at night effortlessly. This hot chocolate from Beam is going to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up feeling refreshed. Plus, it's only 15 calories per scoop, 
and has no added sugar. So what you're getting here is a delicious cup of hot cocoa that you drink at nighttime. That's gonna help you sleep. What could be better than that? And having that additional better sleep is gonna help you with your stress levels, your energy levels. It can help your skin clear up. It, it has so many benefits. You gotta prioritize your sleep and Beam has helped me do that with this hot chocolate. And right now, Beam is offering an awesome holiday sale. You can get up to 50% off any product when you subscribe and save. You can also pause, skip, or cancel anytime. The numbers don't lie. In a clinical study, 93% of participants claimed that Beam helped them get a better sleep. So you can visit the link here or scan the QR code on the screen to shop Beam's biggest sale of the year and get up to 50% off. So don't miss out on this limited time offer from Beam. The discount is auto applied. No code is necessary. Check out Beam. It's helped me sleep. It can help you sleep. Thanks to Beam for sponsoring this video. Let's hop into it. Got to throw the P2. It's the last one I have to throw. It's Perfect. a good hole for Perfect it, reckon. Time for it, I'll tell you. Forehand? Oh. Like forehand here? Yeah. I just kind of want to prove to all the haters. <laughs> I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna hit that freaking <laughs> sign, dude. I'm, I'm gonna blast it. <sighs> I'm gonna be laughing so hard. <laughs> if I He's blast that, that sign, sign, dude, I'm gonna be in those woods so quick. He's gonna hit that sign. He's not gonna hit the sign. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Oh no! no. Oh. I thought it was stable. Well, you <laughs> threw it. It's <laughs> like the same place it would ended up. Little strike, little forehand. Oh, you a little copycat? Yeah. What are you gonna do about think, it? See, I just tricked you to throw something nonsensical. The musical. <laughs> <laughs> you almost hit the sign. <laughs> <laughs> that came out early. <laughs> that slid so much more than I thought it was going to. Stephanie's child. I'm scary spice. Terrible spit out, really. It up. Don't pull, baby. No stopping this guy. <laughs> oh, I'm putting goaded right now. Shouldn't have said it. Mm. Shouldn't have said it. Two more holes to go. I got a huge lead. Just, just throw it under the basket. Back to the glow rock. It is. Jeremy Coleman, big. All right. Well, that was. Not great. Emac truth. Oh. You know what Emac is short for? Immaculate. This is the immaculate truth. You're about to <laughs> <laughs> You're about to Snap that wrist. Snap Holy that. Ace. I might be an ace. Oh, and he's a drop quicker. Drop quicker. Drop. Oh! That was pretty sick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Too high. Yeah. That makes sense. Roll. Got <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Good thing the AVR isn't winning the it, butter bracket. The butter just let himself go, man. No, the ion's just so much better putter than these AVRs. <laughs> By ace this, you give me the win? I'm running the heck. Of course. As a gentleman should. Like, if you ace it, I'll give you the win. Yeah, as, as a gentleman should. That's a nice that's just you, a, That's a gentleman's bet. Get there. Clear. Get up. Ah! <laughs> In Kentucky, the basket's farther left. Oh. Safe. Safe. Actually, I doesn't even say it's gonna be on the side. Well, I guess since neither of us ace, we go to a playoff. What hole? Yeah, something like that, I guess. I think I win. Yeah, <laughs> Connor, my brother, you win. I'm about to die, aren't I? This is the end. Wow. Should I try it? Heck yeah, Hunter. I knew you had it in you. Things just got interesting. Had that putt roll away now, in hindsight, I could have lost. Fun. Holy oh, cow. Yeah, yeah, I lost by one. <laughs> what did you learn today? I'll tell you what I learned today, personally, and I've been suspecting this all along, but the XT Mako 3 is dirt filth amazing. I think the Mako 3 in general. Yeah. Possibly I, the most it's, underrated it's disc so out there. It's so slept on. People are sleeping on Makos. Let me see, is that comfortable? It is. Oh yeah! Wow! Why no wonder people do this. On. Probably the most dirty of your discs, Trevor. That judge. I want you. Yeah. Are oh, you talking about this one? Oh poop. Oh, I think it's absolutely dirty. Oh poop stain. <laughs> I want you to reach under your chair right now, wherever you're watching this video, and you're gonna find an XT Mako on the house. Wait, is it under the chair or is it on the house? <laughs> it's on. It's under the chair that's on top of your house right now. I want you to climb nope. onto the roof. <laughs> nope. Oh, our legal guys are gonna have a field Here's day with that. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to hit the subscribe <laughs> button down below. Head over to FoundationDisc.com <laughs> and then buy yourself a Mako three. And then if and you put it under your seat, it'll we turn. will be truthers. That's right. 
But no, then just show up in your mailbox. And then you can put it under your seat. And then you two can sleep on an XT Mako 3. We have Halo, I think. That's even Ooh. more comfortable. Some are calling it the Tempur-Pedic of Mako mattresses. Nectar. Huh? Huh? <laughs> it's a mattress. Uh, I don't want to slap it. I can get it. Come down here, boy! <laughs>